Hello, selamat datang kembali untuk reaksi baru. Hello and welcome for a new reaction. Today we're going to check out Ali Bata's version of Turkish March by W.A. Mozart. I've been really looking forward to see this one. It's uh, It's been on the uh, list of things to watch for a long time. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a classically trained violinist. So I've played a lot of Mozart, a lot of Beethoven, uh, a lot of that like famous classical music. So uh, I'm curious to see how Alip's going to play this one. I've uh, I've actually played this piece before. When I was in high school, I actually bought the music. So um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a really thick book. It's got uh, a lot of music in there. So this is the Mozart uh, piano sonatas. So this piece of music comes from Sonata Number no. Eleven by Mozart. I'll give you a little bit of background on Mozart. He's a really famous composer. He's like probably the most popular classical composer like of all time. I wrote it down. He was born in 1756 and died in 1791. And he was a prodigy. Like he played piano and violin since he was a little kid. And uh, basically a prodigy means that you're really young, but you're like really, really good at playing music. So that's what Mozart was. And he wrote music since he was like five years old. Uh, I think he wrote over 600 uh, pieces of music. So he wrote like a lot of music and this uh turkish march i really wanted to learn it growing up but it was actually too hard for me on piano so here in canada we have a grade system grade one to grade 10 for music and um after grade 10 there is something called arct and if you get that then you're you've done all the levels and this piece of music is arct level like that's how hard it is and the, the thing about Mozart is it's really clean, elegant music, and it's, it's very polite music, but it's really difficult to play because it's so exposed. You have to be a really clean player when you play this type of music. If you make even one little mistake, everybody's going to hear it. Uh, that's Mozart. Here's the last movement. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, there's about maybe four or five parts to the song. So you'll hear the melody in the right hand. Okay, and then you'll hear the accompaniment in the left hand. There's a second part to the song. Uh, we call it the B section. Then you also have the C section, the melody. The hardest part, the part I could never play uh, when I was trying to learn it was that middle section. Uh, And then there's a new idea that pops up. Yeah, sorry, my playing's not very good. I should have maybe played it on violin instead. I don't know. And then there's this ending to the song. So those are the parts to the song. Curious to hear Ali Bata. Let's check it out. is really good uh, really nice tempo not too fast not too slow very clean plane very articulate and very even plane like you can hear uh, how I was playing on piano is very like uneven sounding but here you can really the 16th notes are very good so that's what you need in Mozart, something like this. Just very, very clean, uh, even playing. And it sounds just like the original. It's in the same key. Um, and I can hear the melody really clear, and I can hear the accompaniment. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the hard part coming up. That's it. Okay, so I'm wondering, uh, maybe, maybe it just uh, got cut off or something. Because I know this video, it's not from Alibata's uh, YouTube channel. It's from somewhere else. Because I guess the video must have gotten deleted or something like that. So yeah, really, that's really, really great playing. I love that I'm hearing classical music. So yeah, you could hear the the parts perfectly. Let's just go back and see if we can hear all the parts. <laughs> Actually, there's one difference in the piano part at the ending instead of the octaves they break up the octaves so Mozart goes instead of he goes so he breaks up the octaves that's the only difference really <laughs> cut it off a little bit abruptly because uh, it's supposed to keep going yeah so really great job Alip uh, I hope I get to hear more uh, classical music I'm really I'm really digging the classical music I love seeing how his versions of the song they're like identical to the original and I think he does it all by ear I don't think he writes down any of the notes which makes it like even more impressive so I hope you guys like the video sorry for my pretty terrible uh, piano skills on this one it's actually a really hard piece to play on piano especially on this uh on this really terrible piano so hope you guys like that and uh yeah i'll see you for the next one